Hi everyone, so I'm back with some great off-campus opportunities for you guys, especially if you're college students, then all of these opportunities are for you. And not only I'm going to tell you what to apply, where to apply, but I'm going to tell you how to crack the role as well. So make sure that you stay tuned till the end of the video because we'll discuss everything in details. All right, so now let's get started. Now, before I start giving you the opportunity, let me tell you, whenever there's off-campus opportunities for college students or for fresher, you will see the video on this channel first. So if you want to stay tuned with all the off-campus hirings that are going on and if you want to apply as fast as possible then make sure that you subscribe to the channel because not only i'll be bringing videos on where to apply but i'll tell you how to crack as well both of the things you'll be getting on this channel as soon as the opportunity arises so make sure that you subscribe all right so the first opportunity to those of you who missed my previous videos then amazon and google both are hiring for internship for sde internship and obviously, you know, both of these are fan companies, so the pay is also pretty amazing. And the opportunity or the application is still open. So to those of you who haven't applied for Amazon and Google, the internship is open. Make sure that you apply ASAP. The link to apply is in the description box and the pinned comment. And I've also made separate videos on how to crack them. So if you haven't already apply for Amazon and Google's hiring program for internship, and it is for all college students. So make sure that you apply to them ASAP if you haven't already. Now the next company is Wells Fargo. Now Wells Fargo is hiring technology intern for Java, Python and AIML. This is a great opportunity for all college students. You might know already Wells Fargo is a pretty decent company and they have a CTC of 24 LPA plus for a fresher for a FTE and for intern also the pay is pretty decent, pretty amazing. So what do you need to do? How do you need to apply? First of all, the link to this also is in the description box along with the job ID. So if you're asking for referral, make sure that you put in the job ID as well. Okay. Don't ask for referral without a job ID. All the jobs ID and the links again are in the description box along with resources on how to prepare. Now for Wells Fargo, what do you need to do? So first thing will be resume shortlisting. So make sure that you have an impeccable resume. Your ATS score should be above 80%, above 90%, the highest that it is possible. Make sure that you show expertise in either Java or Python, preferably both. But if you don't have knowledge of both, then you don't need to put. But showcase your expertise in Java or Python. You need to have expertise in either of these languages. Apart from that, if you have made a project on data science, if you have made a project on AIML, then again, this internship is definitely for you. Make sure that you highlight your projects in the resume okay because the first part the resume shortlisting is very 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 important apart from that more resources to prepare will be in the description box and one thing about this internship is that it will close soon so 15 july is the last date before that only they're accepting applications so apply right now now the next company on our list is paytm paytm again is a pretty good company to do an internship or ft in and they're hiring sd intern for android so for this internship, you need to have some knowledge of Android. You need to have a good knowledge of how Android works, the tech stacks in it, the technologies in it, because that's what the internship and the interview is going to be about. So if you're new to Android, if you're a beginner in Android, I've given some resources in the description box, some really good resources that you can use to amp up your knowledge of Android so that you're able to crack this internship and so that you're also able to make some good projects before the internship starts. So again, the link to apply will be in the description box make sure before your resume make sure that you have a little bit of android stuff in your resume so that your resume is able to get shortlisted all right and for increasing your knowledge again you can follow the resources in the description box if you're a beginner on android or if you're new to android all the resources will be beginner friendly so go check out the description box so the next company we have on our list is one of the big four and we have deloitte so deloitte is going to have one of its biggest internship program for college student and of course it is a paid internship so if you're interested in working at the big four, make sure that you apply for Deloitte. The link to apply will be in the description box. Now, clearing Deloitte's internship is not that difficult. If we compare it to some of the other companies we've talked about, it's not going to be that difficult. But I'll give you some resources so that you can prepare. I'll also give you some interview experiences so that you can know what you will be expected of in the interview. But this is a great opportunity for anyone who wants to work in the big four. Deloitte is a pretty great company and they're known to have some chill work-life balance as compared to the other big four companies right so again this is a great opportunity the link is in the description box make sure that you apply as soon as it opens 
Now the next company we have on our list is Cisco. So Cisco is hiring SDE intern for this summer internship program. Now Cisco is a pretty great company to work in and they have really good packages as you might already know ranging from 20 LPA to 30 LPA plus straight off the bat for a fresher. And even in internship they have a really great pay. Now Cisco's internship or Cisco's hiring interview is going to be a bit different from others because Cisco focuses a lot on CS fundamentals. So you need to make sure you're very good with CS fundamentals, especially computer network applications. Okay. So you need to be really good with computer network. You need to be really good with its application. Again, I'll give some resources on how to prepare in the description box and in your resume, you need to have a good expertise in any of the programming languages. So show off your expertise in your resume. If you have a networking project, if you have a concurrency project, all the better. You can put such a project in your resume because of course this is something that Cisco cares about. Apart from this, make sure that your resume's ATS score is high enough because that is again something that matters here. And for preparation, resources are in the description box. Make sure you check it out and prepare well. Now the next company we have on our list is Shopify. So you might have already heard of Shopify. It is a pretty good startup. It is a pretty good company. And if you want to experience working in such a company, if you want to experience you know how it is to work in such a company that is still new then you can apply for shopify shopify is hiring for freshers and college students the link to apply is again in the description box so not much is known about shopify's interview process but i'll still give some interview experiences in the description box so that you can have a good idea about what will be expected in the interview the first thing of course is make sure that your resume is top notch make sure that your resume matches the job description that you will find in the description box. So again, this is a great opportunity, great off campus opportunity that you can apply for. Now the next company on my list is PayPal and PayPal is hiring a lot these days and they're hosting a session right now from the PayPal University's team. Now this session will be all about engineering. It will all be about getting the required skills, getting the required mindset. And this is a great session that you should apply for. Because once you apply for this, you will be in their system and you will be able to connect with a lot of PayPal professionals, right? Which will obviously help you network with them and eventually help you in cracking an internship or a full-time role at PayPal. So this is again a great opportunity and I really suggest that you register for it if you are a college student. All right. So that is pretty much all the off-campus hirings that I have at the moment. I will be soon making a lot more videos. As soon as there's any opportunity, you will see a video on this channel. Now, let me give you some extra advice, right? That not a lot of people will give you. So the best way to get your resume shortlisted is by using ChatGPT. So how do you use it? Just copy the JD, paste it into ChatGPT, copy your resume, paste it into ChatGPT, and just ask it to match. And it will give you a score based on matching and it will give you some keywords that you can increase your chances of getting shortlisted. So use AI heavily in making your resume better, in making your ATS score better. And apart from this, based on JD, you can even ask ChatGPT to give you interview questions, to give you, you know, mock interview, to test your knowledge. So this is a great way that, you know, you can get the required knowledge or make your resume well enough to get shortlisted. Apart from that, if you need help in your placements, if you need help in getting your resume shortlisted, if you need help in cracking interview in mastering DSA or anything else, then I will be helping you one to one on my top mate. I've helped already a lot of students in cracking their dream company. So if you're having any issues, make sure that you connect one to one with me on top mate and I'll be there to help you on your journey to your dream company. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure that you check all the links out in the description and make sure that you apply wherever you see fit and make sure that you stay tuned for the next videos. So yeah, that's all. Thank you.